battle against time and space, against weather and terrain, against the intractability of materiel and the unpredictability of human beings. This is the analysis of Warner Brothers production number 466, the seven arts picture entitled Rampage. This plan will activate the multi-million dollar movement of men, animals, and machines that will eventually become a movie. It will send crews and cast across oceans to the heart of tropical jungles. It will put several thousand people to work in skills as various as tailoring and tiger handling. It will guide the destinies of stars and technicians and craftsmen for three grueling months of work. It will affect the lives of natives in faraway primitive villages and command the time of three motion picture stars. Robert Mitchum, Elsa Martinelli, Jack Hawkins, and a host of actors and actresses. The plotting of this plan is the specialized work of the Warner Brother Production Department. Men for whom no demand is too bizarre or surprising. Get six tigers by Friday. Order a freight train for next Tuesday. Requests like these scarcely raise an eyebrow. Get 50 Bavarian bandsmen in uniform and 100 experienced atmosphere players for a crowd panic scene. And here they are, on the dot, ready to work. With all the technicians and incredible amount of supply it will take to make this particular scene. These atmosphere players called extras in the business, are among the most valuable and reliable performers in any film. You won't recognize a face among them, but you've probably seen them hundreds of times on the screen. And some of them have been doing this work for over 30 years. And here director Phil Carlson is plotting out his scene. Uh, Joe, if it helps, say we can shoot this camera in a little bit. Uh, you know what With the aid of his assistant director, he must coordinate the second by second movement of over 100 players with camera crew, electricians, and a troop of behind-the-camera personnel. The assistant moves the extras in their starting position. The self-powered camera crane is moved in, and the camera crew locks camera into position. Its hydraulic lift can sweep the director and cameraman 30 feet in the air and bring them smoothly down again with pinpoint accuracy and push-button ease. Sending the camera probing like a giant eye into the action that's about to take place. The director and the cameraman take their places. Final orders are given for the first rehearsal. The camera operator gives his okay. And then comes the magic word. Action. Rehearsal is good. A few last minute technical adjustments. The extras are called back into position. Knowledge that an expensive scene is about to roll runs through cast and crew like an electric spark. 328 people directly involved are waiting for the word that the film is rolling. And again, the call for action. The scene is on film. Behind camera, the stars are preparing. Robert Mitchum is conferring with a publicity man. When will he be available for still pictures? When can an interview be set up? Elsa Martinelli gives final touches to her makeup as the lines from her next scene are read over to her. Everyone here is keyed up. Runners waiting for the starting gun. Even veteran actor Jack Hawkins shows the tension as he gives last minute touch to his wardrobe before being called to the scene. This scene will involve the biggest actor on the set. This is a performer that can't be rushed. They're rehearsing the scene now. The assistant gives the signal. It's passed down the chain of command. And engine 5885 moves out with all the dignity of its 1,500 horsepower diesel. And another take is on film. This one scene of such complication that it will take three days to shoot in its entirety. The camera will roll in this vital action from 23 different angles. The action of various parts of it will be repeated 23 times. On the screen, it will run less than four minutes. But it will be one of the high points of Rampage. <laughs> against time and cost and human fallibility, which is the production of a motion picture, will command this cast and crew from the midnight rooftops of a modern European capital to the sweating depth of a primitive jungle. All this has been planned. All this is on the chart. 63 days of production. 
you have seen part of just three of those days. 63 days that include transoceanic shipment of cast, crew, and equipment. Days that must include the essential human needs of an army of artists and technicians. The problem of feeding this army three times a day while on tropical location is alone enough to stagger the imagination. It includes days lost to quirks of weather, days devoted to transporting this army through jungles, days to rehearsing inexperienced natives, days given to the unpredictable behavior of wild animals, days for adapting the techniques of jungle trappers to the dramatic storyline of Rampage. After 63 days are over, the shooting finished, post-production completed, the picture is in the can. 63 days of talent, skill, expertise, and efficiency have gone together to make a picture called Rampage. The Sunday night movie thanks Seven Arts Associated and Warner Brothers for providing tonight's behind-the-scenes visit.